drop humans. Tonight, officials are asking for your help in solving what they're calling a heinous crime. As Dave Ryan reports, the details of this crime have left investigators angry. On a normal day, this is the type of thing you'd expect to see along the shoreline in Waveland. But on April 30th, a resident came across something else. IMMS received a call. Uh, we are very saddened that uh, a dolphin was found dead in Waveland. Erin Matten is a stranding technician with IMMS. She recalls her arrival on the scene to find an adult dolphin dead from a gunshot wound. It is really disheartening to see an animal come in that has, you know, a human interaction, like a bullet wound like that. The dolphin was found in this canal right behind me. But when officials got it back to IMMS for a necropsy, that's when they made a heartbreaking discovery. Uh, we found that in her uterus that she had a calf and that, yes, yeah, that she was pregnant. For IMMS Director Dr. Moby Salangi, this kind of incident is one of the hardest to deal with. Well, it, it's kind of uh, perplexing, you know, why would anybody want to kill an animal needlessly? According to Blair Mays with NOAA, since 2002, at least 24 dolphins, including this one, have been stranded with evidence of being shot by guns or arrows or impaled. 68% of those strandings have occurred since 2010. Madsen says something good can still come from this. It is really good that we're able to find them and we're able to get a lot of information from that and it allows us to kind of do some education and public outreach as to why these animals may or may not be having these interactions with the public and fishermen. NOAA Fisheries Deputy Special Agent in Charge, Manny Antonaris, says there are currently no leads in the case, and he asks for the public's assistance in finding the person or persons responsible. A $6,500 reward is being offered for information leading to an arrest and conviction. In Waveland, Dave Ryan, WLOX News Now. NOAA is also asking for the public's help in preventing future harm to dolphins by not feeding or attempting to feed them. Dolphins that are fed by people learn to associate people with food and put themselves in dangerous situations. Such behavior has in some cases resulted in violence toward dolphins by fishermen frustrated by the loss of their catch.